Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Word of Encouragement. For this week's Word of Encouragement, we're going to Webster's Dictionary because that's what my high school English teacher taught us. We always went to the dictionary, we always looked up words, we needed to understand the meaning of words. And so I went to Webster's Dictionary and looked up the word encourage, and here's what I found. To inspire with courage, spirit, or hope. To spur on, to stimulate. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, doesn't matter if you're young or old, doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican, doesn't even matter what state you were born in, we all need encouragement. In a world full of put-downs and gossip and bad-mouthing, we all need encouragement. So I want to give you two stories today. The first one comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1, where Paul writes, he says, May the Lord show mercy to the household of, of Onesiphorus, because he often refreshed me, he was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in Rome, he searched hard for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus. He refreshed me. He helped me. He found me. He searched hard for me. That's what encouragers do. They go the second mile. They do whatever it takes to encourage someone. And it made an impact on Paul. Paul, who was in prison was visited by Onesiphorus and encouraged by Onesiphorus. The second story is about Abraham Lincoln. Remember that commercial, What's in Your Wallet? Let me tell you what was in Abraham Lincoln's wallet on the night that he was shot. On the night that he was assassinated, he had several things in his pockets. There was a handkerchief embroidered A. Lincoln. There was a country boy's pen knife, a spectacles case repaired with string, and a purse containing a $5 bill of Confederate money. And there were some old, worn-out newspaper clippings. These clippings were concerned with the great deeds of Abraham Lincoln, and one of them actually reports a speech by John Bright, which says that Abraham Lincoln is one of the greatest men of all times. Now, we might say that. You've studied Abraham Lincoln. You might say he was one of the greatest men of all times, but at that time, people didn't think that. At that time, in the 1860s, millions of people had a different opinion, and Lincoln's critics were fierce, and they were many. And yet, it's interesting that on the night he was assassinated, who knows that maybe earlier that night, he opened that billfold and he read the words of someone who believed in him. Someone who said he's one of the greatest men of all times. That's what an encouraging note does. It stays around a long time. It goes up on a refrigerator. It's in someone's purse or wallet. That's what encouraging words do. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. Write a note. Send a text. Make a call, encourage someone this week, and it'll make an impact for a lifetime. I hope you have a blessed week.